Hi, this is Tammy with Debbie Tammy Creations, and we're going to be wrapping this little teardrop copper Mojave um, cabochon that's flat on the back. And um, we're going to be using 20 gauge square wire. You could use round wire, um, but you wouldn't be able to do the twisted um, part that I'm going to start out with. These are each 10 inches in length and um, my cabochon is about an inch and a quarter long and maybe 0.75 inches wide so um, I forgot to show you this pin vise tool in my tools video but it's really handy for twisting your wire your square wire so what you do is you open it and it, it took me a little bit of time to get used to how to twist this to open it. But once this little um, part is open, you can stick your the end of your wire in there. And then you twist, you hold that tight and twist to secure it. And then all you have to do is hold the other end with a pair of pliers to keep it secure. And then you just twist with your hand twist your pin vise and it starts making that square wire look twisted. You can see that. So I think that's a really pretty, um, pretty thing. And what I like to do then is put this as my first wire, put it on top so that when it comes around, that's what you see sitting on top of your cabochon. So I'm going to place these four wires together. And today I'm using half round wire. And if you don't have half round wire, that's okay. You can use round wire. It makes it a little more secure with round wire if you are doing some weaves. And we will do some weaving in another tutorial. But for today, I'm just going to be wrapping this with half round. And you want to make sure that the flat side is against your wires as you go around. And it makes it nice and um, neat and not um, bulky. So I squeeze these together. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, squeeze them on top like this too as I go just to make sure that they all stay semi-uniform and you don't need a whole lot of them but um, I am going to have this be at the pointed side of my cabochon so you probably want to try and get an even number in there and then you bring your last two and the two ends up and then you're going to cut in the middle so that they can lay flat on top here like that. Now this one is kind of sticking out a bit so I'm going to make that be, uh, I can't make that be the back because that's where I've got this twisted wire but I think it's okay. Um, well, yeah, I think it'll be okay. So what I'm going to do next is take these, I'm gonna make sure all my wires are, that this is right in the middle. And I'm going to um, bend right in half here, like this. And it doesn't look quite like it's bent in half, so I'm going to move some of these over that and I want this to be the front because it has my twisted wire in front all right so the next thing I do is put the cabochon inside there and you want to make it as snug as possible so I'm going to open it just a little bit more at the bottom and then push the sides around like this and if you you can pull that um, twisted wire a little bit on top 
that will capture it nicely and keep it from falling out, keep your cabochon from falling out. And then I just make sure that these are crossed right at the top um, in the middle. Now I turn it over with the stone out and I pull my back wire up a little bit and get underneath there and just turn my wrist and pull that over. So this is going to present a little bed for your stone to sit on. So this is the back and here you just twist it in like this. And um, so these are your backmost wires. When you turn it over, you can see now your stone will sit right on top of that, like this. Okay, and then you pull these twisted ones up a bit, just using your fingers and make sure all the wires are coming up beside each other and they're not crossed over and that they are crossed nicely at the top, right in the center, like that. Then you can use your pliers to bend right in the middle, bend these so that they're pointing straight up, like that. And um, then I like to take one of my back wires and I'm going to pull it over to the side and around these side wires, making sure that these are still stacked nicely and not um, crossing over each other. And then they come over the front and the other side like this, and you can cross it over the front again. So you've got a couple crosses there in the front and this, this will not show because we're gonna be putting some designs across the front, but um, I like to spread these out a bit just to make sure that the stone isn't gonna fall out. All right, so from this point on, then I have to decide how I'm going to proceed. So I'm going to take my twisted wires that were in the front and pull them over one to each side like this. And then I'm going to look and bring the next wires over to the side. And then I'm going to take these three wires and I'm going to make these be my bale. So if you have bale making pliers, you can use them um, if you don't, you can just use a pencil or something, but bale making pliers are nice because then you know that you're going to get a nice even um, bend over the top like that. And then I like to push it down in the back, push it together, and then pull these out. And you can see there, push it together. I push this forward just a little bit so that when the chain goes through, this is right over the top of my pendant. So now what I do is I take this one that I was using to wrap around and I wrap one more time around all of those from the back. And sometimes I will pull it with my pliers just to make sure it's closed nice and tightly. And I bring that around one last time and then make sure these are all straight. Then I cut it here in the back and take these little pliers and tuck it inside the bale, just like that, so it doesn't show. Push it down. All right, so now that secures my bale and I can pull these apart a little bit if I want. And that's going to be my bale. So I think that is really the easiest way to make a bale. And it, it's pretty. Now we have to decide what we're going to do as far as decoration. And I think what I'm going to do is a little weave. So we're going to get our 28 gauge 
dead soft wire and I'm only going to use about um, maybe 30 inches. It's not a whole lot. I probably won't even need that much. But I go ahead and cut it off um, of my reel. And I'm going to weave over these two wires on the right. So what I'm going to do is start the weave with the bottom wire. And I'm going to put this end between the two and pull the little tail down in the front like this and pull all of them down as close as I can to the, the middle of the pendant. So from here, now I'm gonna be going up and over the bottom wire three times. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to go over both of these wires twice. One, two, making sure that it's nice and um, pushed together. Then I'm gonna repeat that. So between the two, one, making sure that it's going all the way down, two, three, and then pushing those down as far as I can and then twice around both. And really the reason I'm only going twice around both is so that you can still see the twist in that one. So this is, uh, we could call this a three, two weave. So we're doing three on the bottom and then two around both. So that's a three, two weave. And you wanna make sure they're sitting right next to each other. Now, you do this as many times as, as you want to, really. Um, it's your design. So what I love about weaving is that I start and I don't really have an outcome in mind, not a clear outcome. I just sort of organically create the piece as I go, and it's so satisfying. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to keep repeating this um, a few times and around both. And then I have to decide how I'm going to um, position this around the front. So let me do one, two, three, and twice more. All right, so um, I'm going to finish it off with three around the bottom just to keep it secure. This is 28 gauge round wire. And then I'm going to twist it around in a little bit of a half circle like this. And I'm gonna separate these wires a little bit. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is cut this off this excess, so you really did not need as much as I said. <laughs> you maybe needed six inches to do that. Um, and then I'm going to also cut off the beginning of that weave wire. And um, I'm going to get some of my beads. I'm going to use, I think maybe four millimeter let's see get out a four millimeter and, and try it on here i'm going to put this on that top wire which is the one that's not twisted and then i'm going to bend this around the back like that and then with this other one i'm going to make a little small loop with my fingers and let me put one of these same size beads, pretty sure these are four millimeters, on here on my twisted wire. And it's just going to fall down right into the center of that little curl. I'm going to hold on to it and continue my curl around like this. And then I'm going to bend the other direction 
and I'll make a, another little curl that will attach here on the side. I'm going to trim it and finish that curl with my round nose pliers like this and push it down like that. Okay, so that's kind of pretty. Um, I've got a few more wires that I can figure out what I'm going to do. Um, I think what I'll do first is on the back, this one that I just pulled around, I'm going to trim off and I'm going to push the end of it back through here just to secure that. So and then squeeze it together so it doesn't go anywhere. And that will hold this bead on very well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead also and trim these little wires that came out from my bale. And um, I think what I will do with those is just separate them out and make little curls on either side like this and kind of push it in and another one here and then the last one I'll curve the other direction like that and then we can just sort of tuck those in so they're not very visible and they don't uh, scratch the skin when somebody's wearing it. All right, so now I think I will take this first wire and I'm going to come up and around in front of my bale and I'm going to follow this line, this little uh, curve of my woven wire. I'm just going to follow it around and bring this around the back and cut it off. And then I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to tuck it in, tuck it in and squeeze so that it doesn't, um, can't be seen and will not come apart. So squeeze those together. All right. And then this last one, I think, I think we have enough going on really in the front and I don't want to cover up this pretty stone too much. So um, I think I will bring it around and curve it as well, like I did. So we've got some parallel um, design going on there. And I might, Hmm. Let's see. I think I'll I think I'll make one more little curl kind of going sideways. I can push it forward. So there we've got like three at the top. That's pretty. And then I'm gonna bring it around the back, cut it off, and tuck it in. With the others like that. All right, so now this may end up showing, so I'm going to curl it down just a bit. And then I need to fix my veil and separate these out a little bit like that. And there you go. Now, the last thing I need to do is cut a little piece of my half round wire here and let me just get a little piece of this to secure the little loop in the front so what I'm gonna do is take my little uh, you can use a needle or a pin or something a thumbtack to get underneath here I'm just gonna lift up this front twisted wire a little bit so that I can get underneath there <clears throat> and I'm going to take the flat side up this time. 
and I'm going to go through the loop and underneath that first wire. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to pull it over so that the round part is on top. I'm going to come up again and go through the loop, but above where that one was and underneath that first wire. I'm going to use my little tool to pull it through. And then I've got two little loops there that will keep this from moving around. And I could use my little tiny <clears throat> cutters to cut this off right inside there, nice and close. And this one I'm going to cut maybe not quite as close so that I can tuck it in underneath that wire there. I'm going to pull this one back up a bit. And there you go. Push it all down nice and tight. And there you have it. We, we can now oxidize this piece and um, it'll look really nice and pretty. Thank you for watching.